Blah, 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 the EMP grenades, blah, 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 fuck you. Okay, today we are going to put Plaza on lockdown with Guardians and Sentries. While this is a smaller map, there are tons of places to put Guardians and Sentries. Before we start, I just want to cover the loadout that I'm using, which is very perk heavy. I was actually going for the no attachments camo on this gun in this game, but I ended up liking the setup I was using. It's the vector with no attachments, no secondary, perk 1 and 3 greed with the perks flag jacket, hardline, toughness, engineer, and tack mask. Engineer could probably be switched out for something else, and I also have a black hat and a C4. If I could do it again, I would have fast hands, not toughness. I don't take my usual route, instead I opt for going around the store. I pick up two kills before I start capping. Kill one person while capping, and then cap the flag. Here's why I love this loadout. I already have full score streaks. I head back to A to plant the first sentry, which is placed on top of the building facing B. This will protect B flag from essentially everywhere except for one spot, and the sentry even aims down low in between A and B. If anyone tries to advance towards you from B, they'll be cut down immediately. The enemy recapped B in this time, so we're gonna go take it back. The Guardian drops here as an offensive tool. It keeps away anyone coming up directly. I can safely aim down into the club because my teammate is on the opposite side of me watching the flank. I cap and grab a kill, but then die because I did not let my health recover. I spawn back at B and notice someone is shooting my guardian. It doesn't need to be there anymore, so we're going to move it into a better spot, in the club, facing the flag. People decide that they want to chase me inside, so I spin, plant the guardian, and grab some kills. I see someone inside the club, so I go to take him out and then seal the door with another guardian. But of course, there's someone with ghost that I see too late, so I plant the guardian and then die. He destroys the guardian, but I destroy him right back. I float around B for a little bit, unsure of where to go, before I check B out again. I kill one person and then bait another right into my guardian for a kill. Right before I'm killed by Mr. Thinks He's Good because he uses Ghost. I didn't have a UAV though, so it could have been anyone. Again, the enemy is back at B, but I flush them out with a C4, grab another in the club, and then another in the store for another quick guardian. And this time, my team capped C for a 3 cap, and I noticed that they all respawned at B. When something like this happens, you can assume that the enemy will rush the closest flag that they spawn near, simply not to be 3 capped anymore. I see this, and drop my guardian immediately facing the club, and then MLG jump my ass out of the way to let my guardian do some work. It gets a double kill. While it's destroyed almost instantly, the enemy keeps shooting it and I manage to kill the last two people inside with some fancy footwork. We only have a minute left in the round, so I stockpile all of my streaks to use for the next round. Let's check back with my sentry real quick. The enemy has A and C, not great for us. But since my sentry is still alive, I can cap A while being alerted of the enemy attacking B. The sentry is actually able to hold off any advances on B while I get us back on track. They still manage to cap it, however, but that's okay because it's the end of the round. Our halftime score is three guardians, one sentry, and more ready to go for the next round. 3,830 points. 31 and 4, I had a pretty good half. The second half begins and I immediately drop my sentry in the same spot. It's a good spot. It's the number one spot. I try to move fast to get to B, but they still cap it. However, they don't get away because of that whoa triple C4. Hiding in the middle pillar can block you from snipers, but in retrospect I should have hidden the club. I managed to get the cap before I'm killed by how many times do I have to shoot you before you die, guy. If I was in the club, I might have stood a better chance, but I got the cap, so it's all good. After all that, we got another sentry. Where I'm about to put it is not the best spot, but since I noticed that the enemy team wasn't using EMP grenades or black hats, I give this place a shot, and that's right in front of B flag. Let's look at that spot more in depth. 
The sentry oscillates at around a 140 degree angle. In this spot, not only can you hit people coming from straight ahead, but also people coming from the store. However, store people can still run behind the sentry if they are fast enough. It kills someone advancing and I grab a kill inside, but the sniper is still there and I guess he shot my foot a couple of times, so I die. I head back and die again. Note, do not stand in front of your own sentry. It will hit you, and it will kill you, or it'll get you killed, like I just did. Thanks to that sentry, my team is still able to cap B, even though I'm not there. Quite a rare spectacle. While this placement worked in this game, if anyone had an EMP grenade or a black hat, this thing would have been dead a long time ago. Plus, it essentially negates the sentry that I have sitting in our spawn. Our next guardian drop is by the club entrance, aka what I wanted to do last time. This holds off people from coming into the club pretty well, and the only way they can attack the Guardian is by getting directly in front of its beam. My sentry gun at B is finally taken down, but my backup doesn't wait. Destroying that sentry gave the enemy a false sense of security. I check the minimap and don't see much happening, so I make the journey over to their side of the map to get some more points for some more equipment. Two kills later, I'm fully loaded. A minute later, I redrop the sentry in our spawn on top of the building. We have no presence besides in our own spawn points. It was only a matter of time before my guardian in the club was destroyed. There was a lot of spawn flipping around and whatnot. To get back B, I again use an offensive guardian to block off the club. I chose the club because I had heard and seen some enemy activity, although the placement was not optimal. I cap and run, but I should have moved that guardian somewhere else. It's not a huge deal though, since we're going to win. I wander, get another sentry, and plant it in the store. Then plant a guardian on the opposite side. This might be a little overkill, but the guardian makes it so the enemy has to walk through the beam to get to the opposite side if they go around. If they run through the middle and into the store, they get mowed down by the sentry. The rest of the game is spent getting more kills until it's over. Despite my performance, we didn't even get the 200 point win. Our end score is 6 guardians, 4 sentries, 7135 points, 58 and 9 with 7 caps and 17 defense. Pretty good game. Let's review the map for choke points. Sentries should try to be placed in defensive positions. I tend to not use them in the club because they're very easy to dodge and cover a very small space. Guardians do this much better. For this map, you should really float near all of your equipment at all times. A guardian should be used as a portable radar. When it goes off, you run to it. Obviously this is a little harder if you have multiple guardians. And the same goes for your sentry. This doesn't mean set up a guardian and then sit behind it until someone shows up. This means float around. Thank you for watching this shit.